আছে Hello everyone, welcome to the class. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you doing today? Good evening. I'm good evening. fine. Fine, excellent. That's good, that's good. That's good to know. I'm doing good. Well, I have allergies, but that's something else. I'm good besides that. Ramiro, I hope you're getting better and you get well soon, okay? Yeah, I'll have a little, a little better. But yeah. I, eh, no, estoy, no estoy saturando bien todavía. Oh que my me, God. Um, sí. Todavía tengo, tengo que, no, no tengo que hablar mucho. Me, me disculpo nuevamente. Okay, okay. No, yo comprendo, Ramiro, ¿no? Y hay que mantenerse ahí pendiente, en verdad. La salud es lo primero. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Voy a estar de oyente. Ni se Gracias. preocupe por eso. El esfuerzo, de, con solo el hecho de estar aquí conectado, ya es bastante esfuerzo. Thank you. Sí, por, por lo menos oigo las clases y la veo. Gracias. Yes, yes, yes. Pues tengan cuidado, ¿verdad? La salud es primero. No importa. Bueno, la verdad es que todo lo demás es pasajero. La salud es primero, la salud es lo esencial. Todo lo demás ahí queda. Así que eh, siempre cuídense y gracias por siempre estar pendiente también de la clase. Siempre que me comunican, ¿verdad? Yo lo voy a entender. El problema es cuando la teacher se enferma. That is the problem. Porque ahí sí no hay clase. Right. Then we don't have classes. Ok. Of earring. Of earring. <ríe> listener. Listener, Jonathan. Listener. Oyente, ¿ok? Earring es arito. <ríe> ok. Oscar, anda una camisa flotando por ahí atrás de usted. Son fantasmas. Yes, they are ghosts. Oh, se me cayó el reloj. Ghost. ¿Se cayó el yes. reloj? Y ya veo yes. por el fantasma. That was the ghost. Yes. <risa> ah, hoy sí ya lo veo bien. Ok, excelente. Qué, qué guapos están todos, sí. <risa> wow. Tengo una alumna en la escuela que me da risa porque es bien graciosa. Cuando no ve la pizarra dice, ya no Mickey. <risa> I think it's funny. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Five cameras, nada más. Yeah, only five cameras. Look at that. Well, six, Maria Juli is with us now. Excellent. Uh, That's it. Six. That's good. Excellent. Mira, a mí me da tristeza cuando, cuando nos vamos a los break rooms y solo yo estoy, dice que me también la quito yo porque me siento, no sé, como que solo estoy hablando. Haga lo que hace Johnny, ¿ok? Haga okay. lo que hace Johnny. Cuando Johnny está en un break room y nadie habla, se sale y me viene a poner queja a mí, ¿ok? Y entonces me voy y deshago la sala y los mando a todos a otras salas para que no esté pasando eso. Así que sí, por eso les digo, siempre que alguien no esté participando en una sala, sálganse, me vienen a decir, yo voy a entrar a la sala, voy a ver qué está pasando y lo deshago. Yo ahí lo deshago, si lo veo que no está participando. Ok. Los pulveriza, mis. Sí, porque complicado, estamos sacrificando. Mis, complicado. Y sí, estamos parece... sacrificando para aprendernos. O sea, no, no es para nada más llenar el espacio. Ah, no, miren, yo con eso ya de tanto tiempo que llevo trabajando eso, yo ya me, ya me acostumbré. Así, porque a veces me pasaba al inicio y yo hablaba, 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 y nadie me respondía, y yo me sentía triste, y me sentía ignorada, y no sé qué, y no sé cuánto. Así que ahora ya digo yo, bueno, cada quien vela por su aprendizaje, ¿verdad? We are learning. Así que ya, estamos grandes, ya, right? A los, a los niños de la escuela y tengo todavía que andarles diciendo, por favor, no, nah, mentiras, no les digo nada, porque a veces se enojan conmigo, los lo, 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 les digo yo, 
Saben que cuando ustedes se enojan conmigo, a los niños. <risa> Ay, no. <risa> Pero les digo, saben que cuando ustedes se enojan con... ¿Qué está pasando? ¿Qué está pasando? Se me activó. Oh, ¿De verdad hay un fantasma? Mire, yes. se me activó. Oh, my God. Yes. Se, o sea, se empezó, a, la computadora empezó a trabajar sola. Se yes. empezó a salir y oh, my God. Wow. I oh, my God. Bueno, es decir, a los niños a veces se, se me ponen grandes caras, me contestan, me responden mal, porque así son, ¿verdad? ¿Y qué uno que les puede decir? Yo con el grupo de, de, de padres, yo soy el presidente del, del, del grupo de padres del colegio donde va mi hija. Y entre cuatro nada más decidimos qué es lo que vamos a hacer, porque si empezamos, empezamos a preguntar, no llegamos a ningún lado. Sí, sí, sí. Y con los alumnos ahora el problema es que pues responde bien bonito. <ríe> y tú le dices, pues, ¿te vas a quedar sin notar eso? Sí, está bueno, ¿y qué? Ah, sí, bueno, entonces... Eh... Cuando, y, y después en el recreo, si ellos cometen el error, yo les digo, guarden silencio, por favor. O sea, andan enojados conmigo todo el recreo y les digo, miren, no se enojen conmigo. Porque cuando ustedes se enojan conmigo, yo me siento mal, no duermo en la noche y no como por días. De veras, profe, me dice ahora uno de ellos. Y yo sí, miren qué pechita estoy. De no, apuro no comer porque ustedes se enojan conmigo. Vieran cómo me afecta, les digo. No, es que usted como lo sabe, que no sé qué, no sé cuánto. Pero verdad, right, al final al que les molesta, <coughs> cuando no entran a mi clase, yo no me enojo. Yo les digo, ah, a mí no me faltan el respeto. Le faltan el respeto a su aprendizaje, ¿sí? Porque el que no entra a una clase, a mí realmente, al final de cuentas, no me afecta. Le afecta al que no entró porque no escuchó lo que se dijo, ¿verdad? se perdió de su aprendizaje y se faltó el respeto a sí mismo. Ya cuando uno les dice eso, se quedan pensando, porque creen que a uno le hacen daño, pero no, no es así. Así que, bueno, nada que ver acá el tema, ¿verdad? Pero siempre eso, ¿verdad? Nosotros somos partícipes, somos los, lo digo en español así, somos los eh, actores principales de nuestro aprendizaje. Nadie más, ¿verdad? Nadie más. Yo no le puedo pagar a alguien para que aprenda por mí. That cannot happen. No puede pasar. Algo, se tenía que decir y se dijo. <risa> Como los memes, ¿verdad? Memes en inglés, por cierto, memes en inglés se dice memes, ¿ok? Para que aprendan ese nuevo vocabulario, memes. Ok, bueno, vamos a estar. We're going to start with the attendance. Pero vamos a darles un mensajito porque, like, we have a, like, a few students. Verónica dice presente. Ah, Ana Verónica. <ríe> Every minute counts. Ok, let's go with the attendance. Bad allergies. Mírenme un segundo que no hice una cosa aquí. Just give me a second, please. Okay. Mañana reviso notas. Remember that. Tomorrow I'm going to check your grades. Ok, vamos, let's go. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez dijo present por ahí. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present. ¿No? Clelia Estela Flores Hernández. Present. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Present. Eric Giovanni Jiménez Canizales. Eric José Reyes Molina. Henry Adonai eh, Torres Gómez. Wow. Jacobo de Jesús Gómez Gómez. Present, Miss. Jenny Carolina Vázquez de Medrano. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. Jonathan José Oliva Enríquez. José Alfredo Hueso López. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melcar. 
present miss profesor yo garevalo María Julia Ramos Olivar present miss Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez Oscar René Molina Calidonio present miss José Figueroa Cisneros Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Present, Miss. Ok. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, Miss. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present, Miss. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present Miss. Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Present Miss. En Jacqueline Lizeth García Miranda. Ok. So we're going to continue with the activity present. yesterday. Who's I present? Julio? Yes. Ok. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I apologize because I have allergies today. I did not count with that. Okay. Anyways. Miren, otra vez el fantasma controlando mi pantalla. My God. Where is it? Okay. We're going to go and do this activity. Okay. Yesterday we did this activity, but we didn't finish. Okay. So we're going to finish today. I was here. Uh, we were seated. Right. The was the order server. The server was friendly and patient when they came. Our server coordinated the timing of the dishes perfectly or dining. Okay. So what activity we're going to do right now? The activity we're going to do is we're going to pretend Estamos entrevistando a alguien. We are interviewing someone about the experience they had in a restaurant. So a person is going to ask the question and the other person is going to answer the questions. Okay. So for example, let's see. Um, Jocelyn, can you help me with this activity? Yes, miss. Okay. So you're going to ask me the question and I'm going to say if I disagree or not. Okay. Okay, we, you, yeah, you can you say you seated. because you're talking about me, yes. Mm -hmm. You were seated mm -hmm. promptly, promptly. Uh, I agree. The server was there to take our order quickly. Quickly? Mm -hmm. I agree, yes. The server was friendly and patient mm -hmm. when taking our order. I strongly agree. Our server coordinated the timing of the dishes perfectly. Mm, I disagree. The server was able to answer all our questions. I disagree. Overall, the service was excellent. Mm, I disagree. Considering everything, our dining experience was a good value. Mm, I disagree. Okay. Thank you, Jocelyn. So you see the activity we're going to do. So if you say, I strongly disagree, I disagree, I agree, I strongly agree. That's what we're going to do. Vamos a hacer like the survey. We're going to do the survey. Someone is going to be asking. If you can take a screenshot, si puedo tomar un screenshot de eso y mandarlo, that would be perfect, okay? Les voy a mandar pronunciation. Pronunciation of this one first. Please indicate your level of agreement or disagreement with the following statements. One, strongly disagree. Two, disagree. Three, agree. Four, strongly agree. One. 
we were seated promptly. Se los voy a mandar de uno en uno para que lo vayan escuchando y pronunciando. I'm going to send one by one. So you can listen and then repeat. Okay? Use the audios. I send them because there is a reason. The, ser the server was there to take our order quickly. The server was friendly and patient when taking our order. Our server coordinated the timing of the dishes perfectly. The server was able to answer all our questions. Overall, the service was excellent. Considering everything, our dining experience was a good value. Okay. Do we understand the activity we're doing? ¿Se entiende la actividad? Do we understand? Someone interviews and someone answers the questions. Okay. If in your breakout room no hay participación, me llama. Okay. You can call me and I'm gonna oof, write the breakout room. Let's see. <laughs> Está en fiesta el compañero. Cuidado con el audio, Jonathan. Aceptemos ahí los invites, please. No, no, no puedo compartir un nuevo archivo. Hello. Hello. Hi, me. Hello. Hi. So, who's going to share the screen? Ese es el problema ahorita. Yo estoy con el teléfono, mis. Me too. Okay. Jacobo, can you share the screen? No puedo. Me, me cuesta. Tengo problemas con el Zoom. Okay. Hello everyone, eh, empecé a compartir pantalla por aquellos que no pueden compartir, ok?
No estoy en las salas, ok. I'm not in the break rooms, but I'm sharing the screen with all the break rooms.
Ahí viene. Ok, dígame cómo le puedo ayudar porque deja de compartir pantalla. Tell me. Ah, no, oh. por eso. Es que eso queremos, Miss. Quieren escuchar el sonido, los audios, pero no, no puedo compartirlo porque él se estaba compartiendo la pantalla. Ok, ok. Gracias, Miss. Ok. okay. Oh, ok, ok, ok. Voy a dejar de compartir pantalla un momento para que puedan compartir el sonido, los audios que les mandé, ok? So you can practice. Me dijeron eso en una sala y me parece una buena idea, ok? Everyone practice with the audios, ok? Yeah, en la provincia. Hey, patient. ¿Cómo? Patient. Patient. Yeah. Okay. The server patient. was friendly and patient when taking Baseball. orders. Or server.
Hello. <coughs> Welcome back. So, ¿todos tuvieron participación? Everybody could participate in the breakout rooms? Yes. Yes, me. Yes, Qué poquitos estamos hoy. Oh my god. That's sad. I didn't notice. We're only 16 participants. My god, I will text them. Yeah, because it's raining. Uh, hoy hubo pago. Mm. Hoy parece un jueves viernes, mis por eso. Money. Es un simulacro. <laughs> money, money. Llega que el trabajo que había hoy es para Raining. In my case, in my case is different because I have to um they pay me uh, every time I finish a module and they pay me by the end of the month, okay? <laughs> so at the end of the module, I have to wait like one or two days, and then at the end of the month, so al final del mes. No tengo pa' No, gasta mucho, bueno, congratulations. No gasto mucho. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> eso es para ponerlo en tela de juicio. <laughs> you don't have to pay any to I, make. No, no, I the know. traffic is a one hour, Driving in the Jardines del Recuerdo mm -hmm. at El Torre Cuscatlán, one hour driving. I drive 40 minutes, only that, 40 minutes. El lugar it's a, it's it's a nothing. No, it's pero a no, nothing. Dice, <laughs> un kilómetro y medio, dice una hora. <laughs> oh my God, no, 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 no. I make a half oh. Many kilometers I make, but yeah, it's 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 a lot. So it's like forty minutes, and it's fast. Yeah, it's fast. ¿Qué dijo Verónica? Oh, What did you say? Me dio le escuché cuando dijo. No, it's not me. Oh, no, it wasn't you. No. Okay. Whatever. Que le había escuchado algo. Okay. Thank you. Well. We're going to continue, and we're going to continue with two questions we have here. They are questions about restaurants and things like that, okay? So these are the two questions, important questions we have. The first question says, are satisfaction, I mean, are satisfaction surveys a good way to make sure procedures are followed in the restaurant? <clears throat> Do you understand the question? No, teacher. No? So I'm asking if you think uh, to make surveys, so que significa survey, ¿verdad? Ya día lo venimos diciendo. Por eso, encuesta. Yes. To make satisfaction surveys is a good way to make sure the procedures are following your restaurant. Es una buena estrategia para ver que los procedimientos se sigan en los restaurantes, right? Second question says, do you consider placing posters about procedures in strategic places will help employees <clears throat> follow those procedures? So you consider that, for example, those posters that said, um, wash your hands before uh, going to cook or after you go to cook, okay? So wash your hands when you use the toilet or close the door uh, slowly or things like that. I don't know if you have seen posters in restaurants. Have you ever seen posters in restaurants? Example, no, no. No smoking? Yeah, no, don't smoke. That is a good example for customers, right? But there are certain Think. For oh. the employees, I think that is not 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 uh, productivo. I don't know how do you say. Productivo. Uh -huh. or, or no es eficiente. It's not productive because the my the mayor of the employees don't read the posters. Okay, that's a good opinion, and I respect that. That's what I want you to do. Look. 
So if you don't consider that is good, you can tell me, no, I don't consider that is productive. Like Jocelyn said, I don't think that does nothing to remember the, the procedures because maybe uh, employees won't read the, the poster, right? So yeah, you can say that. Someone else has an opinion? And what about, do you think satisfaction, satisfaction surveys, like to the customers, is a good way to make sure procedures are followed in the restaurant? Mm, yes. Okay, because you can have the opinion of the customer. But uh, uh, for seeing uh, the opinion of the customer, or flavors or price. Can you say that in Spanish, Javier? Uh, al final, las encuestas son un buen camino para los restaurantes, ya que uno puede ver eh, las opiniones de los consumidores. Oh, ok. Su sabor. okay. So you can know the opinion of the customers, right? You get to know their opinion. <laughs> okay, good opinions. Okay, so what are we going to do right now? We're going to go to the break rooms and discuss these questions. But I want you to speak, really speak. Remember, we are practicing English. So I want you to speak in English and discuss these questions. Don't say just yes or no. Tell me why. What is your opinion? Like Javier and Jocelyn just participated right now. If you can take a screenshot of this, that will be perfect. <laughs> Okay, let me see. Give me a moment. Okay, I think that's good. Let's go. Let's go.
este es en my sure procedures in 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 one restaurant is um is um 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 en manejar un one, one checklist checklist o un check check eh, check checklist en algo así le llamo checklist checklist um, to have in a present checklist. excuse me you want to say to have a checklist you want to say usted quiere decir to have a ah. checklist <laughs> yes yes uh, um, make sure procedure is, is on a uh, checklist um, in in check options uh, with post or maybe uh, it's not correct and i think as an employee i don't read the poster never i prefer that uh, the instruction or the procedures uh, teach me talking with me but not uh, try to doing me read something Jocelyn, Jocelyn, uh, uh, survey. I'm agree uh -huh, with the first question. Okay. That's you a good way to know to know the opinion of the customers. Jocelyn, but but I hear you. Yes, I yeah. yes, I agree for yes the yeah yeah yes, I agree. Pues este, yes, the, 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 this, 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 surveys, uh, it, it's important to know the efficient about.
Okay, so I'm going to ask this question to you participants to know their answers. Let's see. Julio. Are satisfaction surveys a good way to make sure procedures are followed in a restaurant? Yes. Why? Why? Because uh, the it's necessary or it's important to to have a chef please for the quality of product you have to do some customer. In the products, but this time we're talking about procedures, right? Yes, it's because it's a, una, a checklist to okay. do for the the check. I I talking about a a, a, a a restaurant, mm -hmm. sometimes a restaurant, you need to, well, they need to check, to have a checklist to do, uh, como por si, or to check the quality of the food. Okay. Okay. Quality of the food. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Julio. Thank you. Okay, <clears throat> in a restaurant, we have different procedures, right? Different procedures. For example, like when they wait for the customer in the main door, they open the door, they ask how many people is coming with you, right? What's your last name sometimes? If you want to be seated in the in what kind of seat you want to be seated, in que tipo de siente quiere sentarse, and all the stuff, right? That is a procedure. Then we have another procedure. Maybe when they take your order, they should offer you entries or some products, right? And they have to be patient, and they have to get the food on time, and, and all the stuff, right? So they have different procedures. Remember, we're talking about procedures. And they have different procedures in this place. But you are the boss. Okay? Got it? You are the boss. You are not there all the time. Right? How do you know if they are following the procedures? When you look at the smile of the customers, but you're not there. You're the boss and you're not there. You are not in the restaurant. How would you know if they are following the procedures? Uh, with the, the, the cameras. The cameras. Oh, when do you have more clients? When you have customers? more clients or more customers? Uh, do you have more money? Okay. Okay. Good, op good opinion. So Eric says cameras. Veronica says, if you get more customers. Jocelyn, you were going to say something? Yes, I said with the opinion of the customers. With the customer's opinion. And how would you get the customer's opinion? It's important. With the survey? With the survey, correct. You see, mm -hmm. that's why surveys are important, right? Yes. Because. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jocelyn? If the boss don't have complaints uh, frequently, that means that that's okay. Okay. And something else, well, to check procedures, it's important with a checklist <clears throat> or a survey, right? It's important because you are identifying the procedures in the uh, prompts, or los eh, enunciados, si se dice en inglés, prompts, with the prompts you write, right? You're following the procedure. But if you want to get to know the opinion or what a customer will like, will want, or what they think it can be improved in the business or their opinion, like personal opinions, in that case, you can add a box, right? Like a comment section. 
uh, can you tell us something else you wanna say, okay? But to follow the procedures, you need to do the survey, okay? Let's go with the next question. Do you consider placing posters about procedures in strategic places will help employees follow those procedures? Now, I know Jocelyn said she doesn't consider that is important, but I want to know, is there someone here who considers that the posters can make a difference and they can be important? Yes. Okay. Because um, if I lose something, I can remember watching, uh, looking at that. Okay, if you lose the procedure, or if you yes. don't remember the procedure? Uh, that, yes, if I don't remember the procedure. Okay, if you don't remember the procedure, it can help you remember. I just want to add something. Mm -hmm. uh, all have a different way, different ways to learn. Uh, in my case, that the reason uh, of my opinions, I don't like uh, to know the procedures. Uh, reading something that is in some place, I prefer that. Uh, to know that in training or with the boss talk with me, something like that. But if the company uh, want to tell me something with posters, um, that's no good for me. I don't read anything. Okay. Okay. Well, that's something. You see, we are, we have different types of learning. We have the visual learning, Listen, listeners, the visual listeners and kinesthetic. Son las tres más importantes. Doing. Yeah. Kinesthetic is I learn when I do, right? And that okay. is that is your case, I, I suppose, Jocelyn. Yes, in the major of the things. Yeah. Okay, in the majority of the things. So now, for example, in my case, is that the same too. So many people ask me, hey, how did you learn English? I was like in college, like for five years, and I never felt like I learned English. But when I went to the United States and I had to speak English with native English speakers, I learned because I was forced to do. I watched, I listened, I copied, and I learned. Okay. Maybe the basic rules I learned here. But in my case, I'm kinesthetic too. I learned when I do. But some people le uh, learn when they le when they hear, okay? With the ear. So they can be listening to something and they learn but just by listening. And some people learn by reading. In my case, sumi, en inglés es una frase popular para decir como matenme o, o como decir así como bye. Piensen lo peor de mí, pero sumi es como demandenme. Sumi, but I don't like to read either. Maybe if something is very interesting, an interesting book or whatever, but I don't like to read. Like a lot of letters, it makes me sick. But I'm going to give you an example. Have you ever gone or have you ever been to Wendy's restaurant? Have you ever visited a Wendy's restaurant? No, you've never been to a Wendy's yes. restaurant? Yes, 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 yes. yes miss. Okay. Have you ever been to the restrooms? No. No, never? Yes. No, no, um, never. Okay, well, if you have been to the restrooms in Wendy's, I think it's very creative. I would say it's very, that's the only restaurant that I consider it's very creative because for the uh, pandemic, for the COVID-19, all the restaurants place a poster <clears throat> that says, that said, wash your hands for 20 minutes, for 20 minutes, for 20 seconds. Okay. Remember, wash your hands for 20 seconds. But in the Wendy's restaurant doesn't say wash your hands for 20 seconds. Do you know what it says? 
No, miss. No, you have no. Okay. Down. So in the there is the mirror. And down in the mirror, like when you when you're washing your hands and down in the mirror, there is a phrase that says, wash your hands while you read this. Lava tus manos mientras lees esto. And it says, la papa, 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 la papa. And I consider yeah. it's very funny and it's very yeah. creative. You see, it's not boring or something like that. So sometimes when I go to the restaurant, I do it <laughs> unconsciously. I am like la papa, la papa, la papa, la papa, la papa, and really like that. And I think it's very creative. So sometimes you can make people read the posters if you are creative, right? Or don't you think? No? I think it's a good idea. I don't read, like Jocelyn said. But that one, I think that one was very creative. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get here. Okay. Let's go to the next part here. And we have this. Use a dictionary to find the meaning. Meaning. Look. Meaning, it doesn't say translation. Translation into Spanish, mm -mm. we are looking for the meanings of these words, specific words right here. So you see, you can see. Use a dictionary to find the, find the meaning of the words below. Dispenser, dirt, designated, sink, and thoroughly, okay? So you're gonna go, you're gonna look, pero no el primer significado que encuentres. Look deep, deep into it, okay? And then I'm gonna, or you're gonna present the minutes that you found, okay? Got it? Dispenser. We, do we understand the activity I we're doing it. or not? I got it. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Sometimes I need your affirmations, right? Because I don't know if you are here or what's happening and I need to know, okay? Let me see. Si el breakout room no funciona, me aviso.
o poco. Maybe dirt or poor. Higiene. Higiene. Maybe dirt or poor. Other example. Muy, muy poco higiénico. Uh, Creo que está muy bien, no sé si hay otro que podemos ampliar. El designado es el encargado de mantener eh, la higiene del lugar. ¿no? Yeah. Y cinco era lava, como fregadero, lavabo, lava. Is used for hand washing. A liquid. <laughs> El Titanic sink. <laughs> bueno, sí. <laughs> Um, sí. Y me sale ese ejemplo. <risa> a ver, sin como verbo es sí, irse. Salió el ejemplo. Okay. Irse. Hundirse. Hundirse. Sin como verbo. Pero como nombre es lavaman o lavaplatos. Lavado. Oh, oh, oh. lavado. Tengan oh, mucho oh. cuidado. Ok. Y thoroughly. Esa se la voy a dejar de deber. Minuciosamente, minuciosamente no sale a nosotros, pero ya que es sin, no es un día. Very much correctly. Totally. Please. ¿Qué le sale? Perdón, no escuché. Totally es minuciosamente, como minucioso. Minuciosamente, ajá. Ya, yeah, minuciosamente. Ya, yes, eso sí es correcto. Very totally. much correctly. ¿Es correcto? Thing. It's very, very. Um, how do you need you say it? Like very specific. Fregadero, lavabo. Oh, that is sink. Ahí viene lo mismo. ¿O no? How can I help? Yo creo que eso means we are confused with the meaning of the word sink. Okay. It has two meanings. The meaning of a verb means like when something goes deep in the ocean, right? And as a, as a noun, it means the place where you wash your hands or you wash oh. them. Regadero. We have to put the both meaning or use the second one. Yeah, the one that is more related with restaurants. Second one. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Miss. The place where you wash your hands. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to pretend that I didn't say that. <laughs> okay. Could you repeat, please? <laughs> oh, my God. And, and you want me to repeat it, okay? The <laughs> place where you wash your hands or the place where you can wash dishes. I'm not going to repeat it.
Okay, we're gonna close the breaker rooms in two minutes, okay? So please send your answers to the WhatsApp group. Two more minutes and we're finished. Okay, let's see your answers. Let's start with the group number one. Carlos, Ana, Eric, Jacobo, and Maria Julia. Okay, okay. Uh, the first one is dispenser. Uh, the meaning is a machine or container that you can get something from antibacterial soap or alcohol help. Okay. Uh, dirty may be dirt or polygene. Hygiene. And remember that alcohol health is hand sanitizer in English, okay? 
That is the correct form for hand sanitizer. Oh. Continue. Thanks, thanks. Dirt may be dirt or poor hygiene. Hygiene. I think Carlos Alberto read that one. Hand sanitizing. Hen, hen, like hen. My hen, hand sanitizing. Ana, Carlos read dirt. The one you have to read is designated. Designated is share or maintaining the hygiene or place. Hygiene of a place, okay. Next. Seeing it user for washing hands or dishes. Mm -hmm. Toby. Perform an action is a focus way. For example, wash hands with soap and water for for twenty seconds. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a, you did a good job. Now let's give them an applause. Excellent. Oh my God, qué pobre se ve esta, esta clase ahora, bien poquitos estudiantes. Wow, that's, that's scary. Okay, let's go um, in this room. Let's go with the break of number three. Javier, Blanca, Clelia, Jocelyn, Julio, and Oscar. Get ready. Okay. The answer is to distributor, distributor, automatic, a machine or container that can get something from the stuff or a cold sanitizer. Hand sanitizer, okay. Number two, number two, dirt, dirt, grime, soil, or any substance that makes a surface not clean. Okay, excellent. Designated to choose someone officially to do a particular job. Excellent. Uh, think. The place where your wash dishes. Okay. Next, probably sold meticulous and scrupulous. Okay, good job. Let's give them a plus. I like it. Excellent. Good job. And finally, last but not least, Eric, Jenny, Johnny, Sandra, Sylvia, and Veronica. I'm a star. Dispenser and automatic machine or container which is designed to release a specific amount of something. Mm -hmm. Next. Okay, dear. Does garbage stain or impurities in the environment? Next. Okay. The signal. Okay. The signal is the person appointed by management to release a specific activity. Realize. Realize. Think. Or actually in English you can say to do. Porque realize is darse cuenta. So to do an a specific activity. Okay, Miss, I understand. Okay, and just Johnny and Sandra are participating? No, Miss. Uh... No, no, I am. I am too. I yes. participate. Okay. 
Okay. I can continue. Please. Okay, and uh, dispenser, an automatic machine or container which is designed to release a specific amount of something. Okay. In totally, very much greatly. Sample, I totally enjoy the day. So, mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. That was good. Uno. Oh, Eric. which one? Oh, yeah. Eric. Number four, uh, sink. Uh, wash dish, dishes, uh, glasses, and other chicken hotel. Utensil. Kitchen. Kitchen chicken. Chicken is a quack quack pio pio. Kitchen. Pio pio. Kitchen. 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 Maybe you wanted to say Eric kitchen. 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 Okay. Hambre me dio. No, it's not chicken. It's not chicken. No. Okay. Let's see. Let me see something. Okay, we're gonna read this. Wait a minute. Okay, we're gonna read this. It says, our procedure posters display in some areas in your workplace. This is important because I asked you if it was important to have posters. Some of you said yes, some of you said no. But the question is, do you have uh, procedure posters display in some areas in your workplace? Then we have, look at the checklist below, this sign to verify the steps of a hand washing procedure. Do you think the checklist is effective to evaluate the procedure? Why? So this is a checklist. When people wash their hands, they need to follow the procedure. And if they follow the procedure, they need to go like this, okay? All chefs and servers will follow proper hand washing procedures. Number one, washes hands using soap from soap dispenser. Uses brush to remove dirt from under fingernails. Uses soap between fingers and on hands thoroughly. Okay, like Minuciosamente, right? Yeah. Washes hands in sinks from production area. Area. Dries hands with a mechanical hot dryer. I have heard that those things have bacteria. He escuchado que esas cosas de metal que secan manos tienen bacteria. Yo he escuchado eso. I don't know if it is true, but I have list. I have heard that. Okay, so let's see one more time. Do you think this procedure to watch hands is effective? Yes, please. Yes. Do you think? Maybe. Yes, maybe? Yes. Okay. Yeah, for me, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. So now, far. I'm going to ask you to read this. I'm going to read it one more time and then I'm going to have some students read it. Washes hands using soap from soap dispenser. Uses brush to remove dirt from under fingernails. Uses soap between fingers and on hands thoroughly. thoroughly. Washes hands in sinks from production area. Dries hands with a mechanical hot dryer. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. Dryer is a secadora? Yeah. Okay, y las, las, el último paso no, no es correcto. ¿Por qué? Why? Porque es un lavado mismo. Es que Porque la dicen que la secadora no tiene bacterias. ¿Usted también ha escuchado sí. eso? Entonces a nosotros nos han prohibido sacar las de manos y nos han, los han exigido el papel, tu, papel toalla, los que están en los dispensadores. Wow, ok, thank you. You see, 
we have professional opinions here. You see, that's what I'm talking yes. about. We have the ministry, el Ministerio de Salud, eso es lo que nos ha exigido. No secadoras, really? just paper, the machines. Pa paper, okay, okay. And you, you wouldn't think so because in some very important restaurants and places, they have hot dryer, mechanical hot dryers. Yes. In, in the United States, in the airport, you use the dryer. Yeah, in the yeah. Bar, in the, yeah, in the red. Por eso es que dicen que a los, peque a los, a los comerciantes eh, medianos o pequeños es que lo quieran a trabar más. Porque yo uso en el aeropuerto y, y en varias partes yeah. ahí. Y, y, y no, no, bien. Casi en todos lados. Yeah. Todos hay máquinas. Es para secar. Pero a nosotros nos exigen que tengamos papel toalla. El, 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 el muchacho que anda de inspector de salud. Es lo primero que llega a ver, los baños que tengan el papel toalla. Bueno, okay. Yes. Okay. No, igual a nosotros y, nos exigen, pero... Justo ayer... Ya... Johnny. Hola. Decía. A nosotros también nos exigen, yo trabajo en una máquina que procesa alimentos. De igual manera, eh, lo, lo exigen... Se supone porque como el viento riega, o sea, si usted tiene bacterias, al final lo que está haciendo es exparación. Ajá. Uh Ajá, -huh. uh -huh. tiene ese, makes sense, sí, makes sense. Sí, Pero sí, yo, sí, no, sí, y el sí, calor sí. aumenta la bacteria, según entiendo. Reproduce, el calor del, del secador. Detiene y lo, y lo caliente reproduce. Uh -huh. Reproduce la bacteria. Yo la verdad si usted que da una mientras... bacteria en, su, en, sus, en sus dedos o en sus manos, el calor la reproduce rápidamente, por eso wow. las dos son efectivas. Ok, ok, good to know, qué bueno saberlo. Miren, por eso, este, de algo nos vamos a morir. <ríe> Yo cada vez conozco más cosas, todo, todo es malo, everything is bad, so yeah. Well, yo por lo menos esas cosas sí no me gusta utilizarlas porque me, me traumaron desde chiquita que eso era malo, me dijeron que era malo, así como ya han probado la, la cremora. Sí, es a mí cuando estaba pequeñita imagínense una niña de 5 o 6 años me dijeron la cremora es una cosa que se te va para las caderas y no se despega nunca se queda ahí como un chicle, como una masa y yo dije ah, entonces no voy a... yo no sabía que lo decía por la gordura verdad, pero yo nunca en mi vida he probado cremora, me da miedo desde chiquita me asusté so like, I don't, I don't, I don't, no lo hago el cerdo ya, yeah, también eso me dijeron, pero yo lo probé y dije yo, bueno, no vamos. <risa> Ay, <¿cómo ya? risa> ok, vamos a verificar de las sentencias. Y la margarina también la comen. Mm, mantequilla, margarina. margarina no. La margarina solo le falta un químico para hacer plástico. Really? Sí. Ah, oh, ok. Bueno. Fue no, ocupada de la Segunda Guerra Mundial. Para atrapar ratones nos hubieran atrapado varios ok sí. <ríe> let's go let's check mm. But, mm. cuidado Johnny la margarina es solo agua con sal, un emulsificante sabor mantequilla y color es manteca con agua, es una emulsión emulsión bueno, una mar margarina en un hormiguero y ya va a ver que ni, la, ni las hormigas se, la, se llegan a, a parar ahí. De veras. No sí. pura manteca. Ay, diré no. Bueno, pongan un poquito de margarina y ya van a ver ningún animal llega a querer comer algo ahí. No tiene nada de nutrientes. Ok, ok. Bueno, qué bueno saberlo. Gracias por decírmelo. We're getting there, we're getting there. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Yes, Eric Giovanni Jiménez Canizales. Eric José Reyes Molina. Henry Adonay Torres Gómez. José Alfredo Hueso López. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Jacqueline Lisette García Miranda. No. 
Okay. That will be it for today, you guys. Uh, thank you very much for your participation. Tomorrow we're going to continue, okay? Tomorrow is Friday. Okay. Tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Take tomorrow. care. Tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you.